I've taken this topic off the back of what they were talking about on the new Rory and Moore episode. Crazy it's decision for any pregnant woman to lay down and have listen, sex with another man listen, that is not again, her child's father. Not, that is I'm insanity. I don't care what scenario you paint in. If you are That's pregnant fine, and showing, but you have not and given showing, me, but you have and not. showing. Let's keep that in front. Okay. If you're pregnant and showing, even then you she's know. Not showing, even if she, whether she is or if she isn't, you, no one has given me an actual answer of how it is it's harmful. It's crazy. I, uh, you cannot explain how it's, it's crazy, crazy or to lay down and open to your legs to another baby, man but you when you are pregnant. A that is answer. insanity. You're talking from societal standards no, and nothing I'm from, from logic. I'm talking from just There's having no some type of fucking moral, moral. Some type of moral what's ground. What's the moral? What's the moral? You are pregnant. Okay, no, but what Why is the moral? Why are you moral? opening your legs and allowing another man to enter what inside of you? Moral? You are pregnant. But you're, but you're not Have some self-respect. Everybody keeps saying a woman is when she's at her most sacred. She's at her most this. It's also when she's the most horny and she's also the most vulnerable and she's also the most lonely. All of I'm lonely, so let me go get some nigga and, and fuck him. How you lonely? You got to tell me about this. And I haven't, I haven't really seen much about it, but I've just wanted to share a little bit of my opinion. So this is Cardi B, and this is the headline, right? So the headline that's been, you know, uh, taking up some debate on some pods lately, I guess because we've got nothing to talk about or some people have nothing to talk about. They're sharing this sort of news, but whatever. So the headline is Cardi B and Offset have both been accused of cheating on each other while expecting their child. Why is only Cardi being shamed? So I don't know if you guys know about this, but allegedly Cardi B and Offset are divorced. I think Cardi B is the one that filed for divorce after another incident where some girl popped out and said, "Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with this guy," or blah blah blah. I think I think Offset got exposed to cheating or something. Something happened. Uh, the final straw was broken, and she decided, "You know what? I'm divorcing this guy." But then during the back and forth on social media, as couples do, it came out that allegedly Cardi B had cheated on Offset with somebody else while she was pregnant. And this turned into a whole thing on the timeline where, like, I don't want to be, I, I don't want to be like a, 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 a is, it, is it like a, is there a male version of a pick me? I think that does exist, right? But I don't want to sound like a male version of a pick me. But I was legitimately surprised to see the amount of men on social media legitimately going out of their way to justify why men somehow have this ownership on women's bodies like you know, like that that was what i was kind of sensing on the girl side i was sensing this want and need to be on the same sort of like level playing field as men when it comes to cheating and on the men's side i saw a lot of guys saying that's my kid inside of you you're my woman that's my child how are you gonna let somebody else come inside of you when i've got you know i mean it's all of ownership and i was like oh this is stinky on both sides why are these guys thinking they have any right to tell a woman what she can and cannot do with her body, especially if you're the one that's been cheating. And I also didn't understand why women were willing to stoop to the level of like downbeat dad guys and decide to go tip a tat, um, you know, fling mud for mud when it comes to a cheating thing, especially when pregnant, because you would imagine, you'd imagine women would want to uphold higher standards of like decency in relationships and be like, you know what, even though you're a down dirty guy, even though you're embarrassing us, yourself, and the family, and your unborn child, I'm not going to stoop to your level. But I guess a lot of women out there, naturally so, which I understand, if you watch a lot of Love and Hip Hop, if you watch some of those programs and shit, now again, they're not the best, you know, indicator or insight into male behavior. But a lot of those dudes, especially when women get pregnant, I'm not too sure what it is about certain guys, but when their girlfriends, fiancés, wives get pregnant, something turns in some dudes. Some dudes turn into like the perfect husband, the perfect father and they're doting and they're looking after the person they're running around being as helpful as they can offering their help offering their hand other dudes go the opposite when a woman's pregnant it's almost like she doesn't exist i mean it's almost as if like nine months is like a it's like a nine month holiday okay cool you you sort it out you and your mom sort it out bye you know what i mean and they go out and do their business and cheat on you with a million people so i found it very interesting and very rich that a lot of guys are having a lot of things to say about what Cardi B is doing or what she allegedly doing. I personally don't even think any of this stuff is real. I've got to put out my thoughts there in the in the in the universe. I think Cardi B is a master media manipulator in the same way that Nicki Minaj and all these other people are. I think the only thing that Cardi B is lacking is the music. I think she's very good at manipulating media for her, you know, to fit her to fit her needs and whatever. So I think a lot of this stuff is probably to do with a rollout. Um, but unfortunately, I think if you're putting this much effort into an album rollout, most likely the music isn't good. But if it is true, I don't have a problem with it. I'm not going to lie. Not to sound like a male pick me, I don't have a problem with it. 
Because if you read between the lines, if you're on those hip hop blogs and shit, you would have seen every other month, every other year. I think Cardi B might have got into a fight, if I'm not mistaken. Didn't Cardi B get into a fight with these two girls who were allegedly fucking offset? So there's always been issues with, with them and cheating, especially on offset side. He's always had a wandering eye. So I think as men, you know, naturally, I don't know why it is, but I think we're all like this. You can go cheat a million times. Your girl cheats once and it will kind of destroy you and turn you into a fucking, you know, incel, you know, into a villain. I don't know why men do that, but it's something that men do all the time. I'm not too sure what that is. Maybe it's an ego, maybe it's a pride thing. Who fucking knows? But I think in general, this relationship has been a bit, you know, it's not been the most uh, um, loving relationship in the world. They've kind of done some odd shit to each other. So it's got to this point, it's got to this point. And I don't, and I think the whole like, letting somebody fuck while you're pregnant thing, there's probably nothing scientifically, again, I don't, I don't know much about the women's reproductive um, organs and shit and whatnot, but I would imagine there's nothing, you know, medically wrong with fucking somebody else that isn't your husband or your baby's father while you're pregnant. I don't think there is. Um, if anything, you read a lot of stuff in papers and shit and whatnot that women allegedly are way more horny when they're pregnant anyway. So maybe your sex drive has increased. So it's not that big of a, it's not that surprise. It's not that big of a surprise, sorry. But I guess the whole like letting another guy fuck you while you're pregnant thing is, it just feels wrong, doesn't it, right? To most people, it just feels wrong. In the same way that, you know, after your husband dies hooking up with his best friend. There's nothing wrong with it, you know, on paper, but it just feels wrong. So I guess you would expect, you know, women to maybe uphold higher standards than downbeat dad guys. But I also understand if you've been hurt a million times, if you've been scummed a million times, if you've been, you know, embarrassed a million times in public, you want to get your lick back. This is this is probably the ultimate lick back, to be fair. If your guys cheat on you a hundred times, one way to lick, to get them back actually and actually damage them and wound them for real is to obviously end it. You end it. You file for divorce. And then when it comes, and then you obviously reveal that you slept with somebody else while you were pregnant. Like that's an ultimate fuck you. And the funny thing is, as well, from my experience, my limited experience with women, the funny thing is, my limited experience with women is this: when women are over you, they're over you. So imagine that triple threat of not only the person divorcing you, not only them willingly offering up information that they fuck somebody else while they're pregnant, but also being over you, like draw a line under the sand. Because for most women, once they've turned that light off, that switch off for you, it terms of fancying, it can never be turned on back. And it can never be turned back on again. Very rarely can it. In my experience, in my limited experience with women, I pro I'll probably say zero. I've got zero, zero, zero W's in that in that column of somebody that you were into with, you were into it with, you did your deeds and shit in the past, and then they decided, you know what, I moved on. I've had zero instances where you've been able to turn it back on again. Unless they decide, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying like from a guy's point of view, like you're trying to turn it back on. It doesn't happen that way. They have to decide, okay, you know what? Fine, I'll give you something. And they turn it back on, but it doesn't work the other way. So Offset right now is probably spiraling, which is understandable. But, you know, you have to pay the price, isn't it? Um, I just think at the moment, we just live in a weird world where people just don't want to, people don't want to accept we have double standards when it comes to gender. But then I also believe that we should be trying to uphold each other to higher standards, you know? I don't think women should be lowering themselves to men's standards. I don't think men should be lowering themselves to women's standards on either side when things go wrong. But we're never going to get there as a society because we are fundamentally broken. That's why. Fundamentally broken.